Hey everybody, Kitchen56 here, Chef Doug, cooking from home is another one of our tips and tricks videos. So today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, salt and seasoning. So you have three different kinds of salt, your basic iodized salt, uh, what pretty much the whole industry uses is kosher salt, and then we also have sea salt. And I'll tell you, iodized salt, we'll go ahead and just get rid of that one right there. Uh, I personally, I like to use kosher salt or sea salt. It's, uh, it's uh, got a better flavor to it. It's refined a little differently, so it's got some texture to it. And, uh, you know, with salt, you can kind of experiment and see what you like. They have all different kinds of salts out there. Um, High-end salt, low-end. They have finishing salts. If you have a large piece of meat and you slice it and fan it out, some people then hit it with a finishing salt. Um, so that you're getting salt on all your meat for a larger cut. So today we're going to do some kosher salt. So uh, picked up a couple of steaks here today at the store. And then, uh, so kosher salt, it's got nice texture to it, so it's easy to season your food. And what you want to do when you're seasoning anything, you know, steaks, fish, anything, you want to season from up here, okay? And uh, that gives the salt the ability to fall in a natural area. When you season something from down low, you see you get piles of it. So you don't want to do that. And so we got a couple nice, big, thick steaks here. We'll give it a little kosher salt. Fresh cracked black pepper. And then we have our Kitchen 56 steak seasoning. And I like to season that on liberally. And then a little bit of a touch of olive oil. And then we kind of rub that in. Flip the steaks, season the other side. So that's your tips and tricks for today, Kitchen 56. Thank you.